It's May 17th, 2013, and the MIAA Lacrosse Championship is about to get underway. This conference is arguably the best high school conference in the nation, and this year it's been dominated by the Boys Latin School of Maryland. With 24 Division I commits on its roster, people are calling this Boys Latin team one of the best high school lacrosse teams ever. They come into this game 19-0 and they've been ranked number one for the entire season in the high school lacrosse polls. For the Lakers, the offense begins with their two attackmen, senior Colin Heacock and junior Shaq Stanwyck. Heacock is a 6'3", 200-pound specimen headed to Maryland next year. Shaq is the youngest of the legendary Stanwyck family, and he's been ranked the number one junior in the country by inside lacrosse. And he's looking to lead the Lakers to a victory tonight. Oh, and by the way, Boys Latin has a little lacrosse player on their JV roster named Patrick Spencer. He's not relevant to this game, but if you're a lacrosse fan, you might have heard his name before. Oh, and if 24 D1 commits wasn't enough, the Lakers have eight assistant coaches, including pro lacrosse players Kyle Hartzell and Steel Stanwyck. Steel is actually Shaq's brother and a legendary lacrosse player himself. Then there's Boys Latin's opponent, the Loyola Dons. They probably shouldn't even be here right now. They were 3-6 in conference play this year, and after a regular season loss to Calvert Hall, Loyola thought their season was over. The seniors were telling each other bye in the locker room, and everyone thought it was a done deal. But somehow, the already playoff eliminated Mount St. Joseph's team upset St. Mary's to let Loyola slide into the sixth and final seed of the conference playoff. The Dons do have some momentum on their side though. They just crushed second seeded McDonough by a score of 13 to four just a few days ago. They also have Ryan Conrad, the number one ranked sophomore in the country. He's an athletic do-it-all midfielder headed to Virginia in 2015, and he needs to have a big game. Loyola also has Devin McNamara, a senior Villanova commit who uses his high lacrosse IQ to pick apart defenses. So here we go. Boys Latin, the undefeated team that many are calling the greatest ever, versus Loyola, the underdog who's pretty lucky to be here right now. The crowd at Johnny United Stadium is electric and ready to go. Two teams are looking for glory and one game will decide it all. All right, we're about to get underway and we are underway. BL controls the faceoff. Boston and Baltimore High School Athletics. That's Shaq Stanwyck right there, number nine. We'll be calling him a lot. He's making a move and he scores. Shaq Stanwyck gets it past AC Newton and gets it in the net. They draw first blood. Yeah, it was a great possession by Boys Latin here. And the players really responded. BL would love to make it a 2 0 game. There's a shot, and that's exactly what happens. Scoring for Boys Latin, Keegan O'Connor. And they suddenly have a 2 0 lead. So BL with the 2 nothing lead here in the MIAAA Conference Championship. I don't see a lot of stress down there, Bugs. They look very, very calm. They're, they're very calm, and you know, one thing that you don't see a lot at the high school level that you see from Boys Latin is they run two midfields pretty, you know, pretty evenly. Mm -hmm. And there you go again. Suddenly, it's a 3 nothing game. Colin Heacock goes in and beats Newton. Newton's having a nightmare first quarter. Okay, it's three to zero boys Latin, and we're not even close to being done with the first quarter. This game could get ugly fast. Tim Nordbrook now. Nordbrook looking for some space, couldn't find it. BL's playing at defense, man. Ball's loose, and BL's right there. That's Tally Bruno, picked up the loose ball. Bruno taking it in himself, and he scores! How about that? That's a great- Front end and the back end, Bugs. Coast to coast play, does a great job, picks the ground ball up. As Bugs just pointed out, they were defeated in the semifinals the last two years in a row. So this MIAA championship, especially by their senior class, sorely wanted, and look at that. Just weaving his way through the defense, that's Colin Heacock. That's, that's a great individual effort by Colin Heacock, the Dodgers man, tucks his stick. So here come the Lakers, 2.50 to go in the first quarter. And again, give that one to Colin Heacock. The, the, Bugs, they're not running plays. They're not setting picks. There's no assist. I've never seen anything like this. Boys Latin is showing us why they're the number one team in the nation. They're making plays all over the field and killing Loyola in transition. Colin Heacock already has a hat trick. 
and his strength and power is unguardable. Loyola isn't getting any good looks on offense, and this quarter couldn't be going any worse. It's on the uh, high school and recruiting game, which is just growing in leaps and bounds. We covered players from all across the country who are going to be big stars at Division I level. So for Loyola crossing, that was Tim Nordbrook, but we've got a flag. Loyola apparently has gotten onto the scoreboard. Yes, they have. Read that publication you need to. Uh, Inside Lacrosse does an outstanding job and has for a good many years. They scored again. Did Loyola. That will be Devin McNamara. Bugs, we talked about runs, and it looks like Loyola's on a run. Yeah, Loyola, they, they need a run here. You know, they get two goals in a row. They get a goal here by Devin McNamara, who's really been the catalyst. But the Dons show their resiliency. They get two quick goals. Now Loyola has settled in. Their defense is making stops. Their offense is finding gaps. This is a completely different game than just a few minutes ago. Playoffs, you know, he simply beats his man, which he hasn't done yet today, and they haven't had to slide, so they don't really slide. And he puts a nice, keeps a stick next to his ear, puts it high to low in a good spot. Bonds going to Maryland, Ryan Conrad going to Virginia, so this will probably be a matchup for years to come. Virginia loves those Baltimore kids, don't they? And there you go, that's Conrad. Battling the defender, turned, planted his foot, went low. So yeah, you're hearing some life from the Loyola side of the field right now. You're gonna to want to put the ball in their stick. Definitely are. So here we go. Here's BL again, and again, AC Newton gets beat. So that's a great shot there. That was Michael Lynch for Boys Latin. From it's nice to see some newer names come up uh, in the B and C conference, isn't it? Definitely some new schools getting the MIA and becoming successful. Cutting across the front for Loyola, that was Tyler Llewellyn. He got a nice assist from Devin McNamara, and as you said, McNamara is one of the guys that's got to make him go. The teams are trading goals back and forth, and it's seven to four at halftime. Loyola has been responding well, but a three-goal deficit against Boys Latin won't be easy to crack. Both squads head into the locker room and strategize for the next half. They see them dodging on a short step. Here comes Stanwick. Ran into some tough defense. And look at Loyola just swarm. And I guess that's that's really right now. Both teams are playing lockdown defense. Loyola goalie AC Newton is heating up, and neither team's offense has answers right now. It's anyone's game, and someone needs to step up and make a play for their team. So Loyola trying to cut it to one, and look at that, that's exactly what they do. Great, uh, a great assist coming in from Devin McNamara. He feeds Alex Rosner in front of the net, and suddenly it's a 7-6 game. Well, they've just got two great shots on goal there, and uh, they're trying to tie this game, and there's another one, and it's tied! How about that for Loyola? Reaper. That was Tim Reaper. Nordbrook, his third goal of the night, and guess what? We got a tie ball game. And just like that, Loyola has tied the game. That six-goal deficit seems like a long, distant memory. Midfielder Tim Nordbrook is having himself a game, and the Dons are feeling it. But hey, there's one more quarter left to play, and Boys Latin can forget about what's happened so far. If they can just win this fourth quarter, they will be champions. With loads of D1 commits with fresh legs on their sideline, the Lakers can make a run. Here and take the lead. You know, this is what you want a man up opportunity with the offense you have. And there's the shot, and it's good. That was Devin Shul. She will, and, and uh, beats AC Newman, and Boys Latin jumps back out on top. You no know, big goal, and again, that just speaks to the depth that Boys Latin has. You know, Boys Latin's here in an open set. They'll probably jump into something else, and then again, they're trying to take time off the clock, use possession. You know, and if they obviously have a good shot or a good matchup, they're going to go. And Stanwick. Stanwick feeds. That would be Michael Lynch. And Boys Latin makes it a two-goal lead with 4.56. And that's Lynch's second goal. It's 9-7 with just under five minutes to play, and Boys Latin finally has that momentum back. They can smell a 20-0 season, and if they can hold on to the ball for just a few more minutes, 
This game is theirs. Well, operating behind the cage. Nowhere to go there. Boys Latin packs that defense in when they have to. That's Tim Nordbrook. Is it in? A goal for Loyola. That's four on the night for Tim Nordbrook. Boy, you talk about top shelf, huh? That's a great individual effort by him right there to be able to you know, get his hands free, shoot. Exactly, that's where he puts it in the top of the cage. You know, a big goal again to cut it to one here, 9-8, with uh, about 3.40 to go in the game. Ryan Conrad cutting towards the net. Excellent feed there from Devin McNamara. And it's a 10-9 game. Or 9-9 game. Wow. Great. Throughout this year, Loyola's had a mantra that's brought this team together. We fight. Right now, they're fighting back, and they've tied the game again. With just under three minutes left to play, one team is going to have the chance to win this game. They would love to go into the old Dean Smith four corners, but they don't let you do that in this game. Look at that inside. Fed right in front of the cage. The ball comes into Devin McNamara, and he scores, and Loyola has the lead. Wow. That's a, that's a great play by Tim. I'm not sure. I think maybe because Devin didn't have the ball on his stick. Mac, nice Mac Collins missed him a little bit. He wasn't necessarily playing since he didn't have the ball on his stick. Tim and Devin McNamara gives Loyola the lead. The senior is leaving it all out on the field. Wow, this is a remarkable comeback. But the Dons can't celebrate quite yet. There's still two minutes left to play, and Boys Latin is definitely going to get a chance to tie up this game. It's time for Loyola's defense to make some stops. Two different games, but I don't know anything like that in a 12-minute quarter game, and it's six nothing. At, you know, in the end of the first quarter, unbelievable comeback. Oh, the stick, the ball came out of the stick for Boys Latin. It's being battled for. The clock continues to run. 25 seconds, and Loyola's got the ball. Loyola wins the MIAA conference in a tremendous upset over the unbeaten number one in the nation ranked boys Latin Lakers 10 to 9 your final from United Stadium let's just watch this celebration Boy, the faces say it all, don't they? Just a few weeks earlier, most of the team thought their season was over, and now they're at the top of the lacrosse world. This game will certainly go down in high school lacrosse history as one of the all-time greats. I'm Jake with Last Weekly. Thank you so much for watching. Which game should I cover next? Let me know. I'll see you next time.